Okay, so we are now at the two month mark. I can't believe it. It has been actually months now that I lived here. Um, when people ask me how long have I been here now, I'm not in the weeks category anymore. I think once you hit two months, you're like in the months category. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, it's just amazing. Um, and this week I've had my sister Cara um, has come to visit with her friend Rosie, who I know very, very well, um, because they have a friend's wedding um, on Sunday, Tal and Amy. Um, and I know Tal and Amy, and they very kindly have invited me to the wedding as well, which I'm really excited about. Um, my first Israeli wedding. Um, and yeah, so having having my sister here has just been amazing. Uh, it's been so great to see her and spend time with her and show her, you know, a little bit of Hebrew that I know, a little bit of, oh, I know my way around. Uh, they said like, oh, it's so good. I was like, yeah, we'll just like get on this bus and then we'll get there. And they were like, oh, this is so good. We don't have to try and work it out. Um, and then they came to my flat today. They had two nights in a hotel, um, which was luckily really nearby. And then they're spending four, four nights uh, Casa de Me. Um, anyways, so uh, Casa Shaili, we should say. Bayit Shaili, my house. See, there's my Hebrew. Um, so, yeah, I had to go out and buy an airbed um, for Rosie to sleep on, and we're all going to squish into my room, but it's going to be fine. Um, so, yeah, it's been really great hanging out with them. And then on um, last night, I decided to have like my first attempt at a social gathering because uh, I was like, oh, my sister's in town, and I quite like her to meet all my new friends. So, I just basically messaged. Every, everybody I've met pr pretty much um, or that I at least have their phone number of to say oh are you around let's come for a drink and see you know my sister's here um, and it was a typical me in that I basically invited everyone from all different pockets and all different groups um, and then I didn't really know how many people were actually going to come I didn't give that much notice I was very Israeli about it about two days notice um, and then also I didn't know where to book really because I've been to a few bars but some of them are like a bit expensive, a bit posh, a bit loud, a bit trendy, a bit too cheap. Didn't know what to do. Anyway, so I was kind of like, I was just like walking up Fizzengoff um, one of the nights and there's all these bars and they just like have tables outside and like hundreds of people sitting there and I've walked past all of these bars all this time and haven't had a group to sit with myself. So I actually picked one that looked quite chilled. It was basically playing a good song when I walked by, so that's mostly what why I booked it um, and it had like a really big table that wasn't too squashed in the drinks were okay prices um, and then when we actually got there if we found out they had a late happy hour until 9 30 so actually we got there at like 20 past nine we just got the few of us that arrived on time um, just got in like two for one drinks which was actually really good and then and then people came like other people turned up and it was really fun and it was a real like coming together of like people of like from my all pan friends from my um just people i've known from london uh, people who like lucy and my friend joel and then people who i and simeon and people who i've met in israel who are from london it was just like a real mixture of people um, and cara and rosie um and it was just really great night basically uh, but i did learn my first uh, lesson about this is that you sort of like have a table and then you have to like pay the bill as a table and as we all know when you do these things wherever country you're in it never quite adds up and the people who are left at the end always get a little bit screwed over um but it was okay like we we, we sorted it all out in the end but i i do need to remember that um going forward you know but that's normal anyway it's not particularly israeli but what was really israeli is that they gave us like free shots like 15 of us free shots um which was really fun and really unnecessary actually and at the end they gave like the three of us that were left another another shot of tequila like we really didn't need it um but yeah it was a really really fun evening my first social gathering so i've been here two months one of my aims was that by my birthday in november um i would be able to have at least 10 friends come and have a drink um and actually i think i basically succeeded that last night having 10 friends um come and have a drink with me and my sister and rosie um so i'm really really happy about that basically and i think it was a very good way to mark my two months 
uh, in Israel. And now I'm just on my way to somebody's path, birthday party. Um, we met this guy, uh, these two guys at a Shabbat dinner last week when I went with Lucy and Lee. Um, and he's invited us, um, one of them, it's his sister's birthday and he's invited us to go along. So uh, really nice. Um, that's the way it is here. You just kind of like tag along. Everyone's welcome um, and it should be good fun.